cooking up some pigments today. And I've done this before where I've, with in the ceramic studio, where I've taken some of my paints and put them through the bisque kiln, which is what, 1860 degrees Fahrenheit, cone six. And then also the glaze kiln, which is about 2250 degrees Fahrenheit. I've also put some of my pigment sticks through the bisque kiln, but I attended a webinar last Friday called The Geology of Pigments, and one of the panelists was talking about cooking the pigments up in a toaster oven on broil. I don't know what, why I didn't think about that. Um, I guess because I'd tried some of my red pigments before and hadn't managed to get them to turn much on my little stove. At any rate, this is a toaster oven on broil, and I um, actually got quite a bit of change. So next step we'll be mulling these up into some watercolors. This is a follow-up on that toaster oven experiment, taking my forage yellow ochres and putting them in a toaster oven on broil. So here are the paints that I made with the regular pigments and then put some in the toaster oven uh, for about 15 minutes and came up with another set of paints and here are what they look like on paper. I got some really nice changes. You just don't know when you try this because I've done this before and some things change a lot and some things hardly change at all but I, boy I got a really nice beautiful dark reddish brown with this one. I will let me just show you the pigment here. So the yellow is the original and then that reddish brown is the is on broil for about 15 minutes in the oven. Pretty cool. Trying a few more of these pigments in the toaster oven. what works just that's a little too waxy just little bits of it seems to be the best way to test it very thin layer we'll see how these go These are all from different locations. So here they are out of the oven and they haven't changed that much. They've gone just a touch redder here. This very pale yellow one on the end has gone sort of pink, but still so far the biggest change has been with these yellow ochres, specifically this one. So, and this is, makes a really nice paint. So pleased with this.